Machines that think, react, and have feelings, just like you and me, are at Marquette University. Yeah, they live in a classroom led by a man who once helped Apple founder Steve Jobs. And as 12 News' Portia Young explains, he's now getting his own recognition for doing some fascinating work. Touch one of my hands and I will dance for you. What seems like child's play is actually advanced math, dancing it out at Marquette University's new engineering hall. This lab of students is guided by Dr. Andrew Williams. He's not like the type of professor to like lead you to do something. It's like, here's what I want you to do. Now find your way to do it. Finding their way, building artificial intelligence. Young wizards creating machines with human-like brains, heart. Shoot. Okay, I'll shoot it. And even courage. We're working on developing a humanoid health coach for kids to deal with childhood obesity. Sophomore Daryl Rangulam is writing that program. You should do the push-ups with me. We are going to do 10 push-ups. Stacy the robot is basically a fitness app come to life. We see it more of a toy, more of a friend than I guess a parent who's always telling you what to do. Fantastic companion that might inspire a kid off the couch. Adam Stroud's program could one day help a disabled child play sports. Computers already help us in so many ways. So these are computers with arms and legs that can have some personality to them. Dr. Williams says robots as personal assistants isn't too far away. Like a cat or a dog, he can see them in homes of the future. Uh, right now they're expensive. But it's just like the PC was, you know, 30 years ago. Uh, not very many people could afford them. Growing up, Dr. Williams' family couldn't afford much of anything. Now, because of his work, he just got put on blackmoney.com's list of the top 50 African Americans in technology. I was born the youngest of six kids and uh, in a two-bedroom trailer. And um, I slept in a cardboard box as a baby. From a cardboard box to Silicon Valley, Touring Apple a few years ago, Dr. Williams met Steve Jobs. After that meeting, Steve Jobs tapped him to lead a recruitment effort at Apple for African Americans. He touched greatness and brings that to his students, letting Adam Stroud build his own humanoid robot. So what is this? Uh, this is... Whoa. <laughs> if someone doesn't break it first. Williams tells his students they can because that's what he heard. We're very lucky. We're very blessed to have him here. Sporting his Golden Eagles bow tie, this alum is proud to be back, helping young people unlock human mysteries, shaping the next millennium. Please don't eat too much junk food. I want you to be healthy so we can dance together. In Milwaukee, Portia Young, WISN 12 News.